In this tutorial, I'll show you how to record, edit, and deliver your voiceover auditions. First, of course, you'll need to go to TwistedWave.com to purchase the plan that works for you. If you don't have a Mac, you can use the online version of Twisted Wave. The basic online version is free, but there are some limitations. You can also just use the Twisted Wave app on your phone. I'll go over that part at the end. First, let's make sure we'll have sound to record. Click on Twisted Wave in the toolbar, then Preferences. Now, make sure your input and outputs are set up correctly. Make sure whatever mic you have set up shows in the input device, and your headphones, if you're using headphones, are in the output device. Now, let's record something. Go to File, then click New. This box will pop up asking you the bit depth, sample rate, and channel. You just want one channel, so make sure it's set to mono. The bit depth is basically like a picture's resolution. It tells us the amount of information in each sample. The higher the depth, the greater the dynamic range. The dynamic range is the difference between the largest and smallest signal a system can record or reproduce. Set that to 32 bits. Next, the sample rate determines the max audio frequency that can be reproduced. This needs to be set at 44,100 hertz or 48,000 hertz. Once you have that set up, let's record. Press the red dot at the top. Heidi Roo. <clears throat> Heidi Roo, thanks. Delicious meals delivered straight to your door. Pick a plan, choose your recipes, and get quality ingredients that make weeknight cooking easy with HelloFresh. Now, I'm going to show you how to take out the mess-ups, silence in between the takes, and get it ready to send off. Before we do that, let's make sure your volume is at a good level. You can determine that by the meter on the right. This measures the decibel ratio. For audition recording, Gopal recommends you keep it between negative 6 and negative 3 decibels. For most recording sessions, keeping it between negative 12 and negative 6 is great. How do you correct it? If it's not following in that range? You can either adjust the gain on your mic, if you have a mic that allows that, or you can add amplification after you've recorded it. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now let's delete the mess-ups. Find where you messed up, highlight it by right-clicking on your mouse, and press Delete on your keyboard. Now, let's say you wanted to listen through the whole audition and mark where you messed up so you can delete it once you've listened to the whole audition. Click with your mouse where you want to mark. Then press the M key, and you'll have a marker you can reference later. You can also simply click in the space above the time to add a marker. If you'd like to label that marker, double-click on your marker, and a box will pop up where you can edit the name. Do you see this portion right here? You see how it almost looks like there's someone speaking? This is what's called the noise floor, which shows you how quiet your recording space is. Between negative 59 decibels and negative 50 decibels is what you need for professional recordings, but for an audition, negative 40 to negative 44 decibel will work okay. I'm just using our porta booth in the front room office at the studio, so there is a lot of room tone. I'm going to silence this portion first, then delete it. To silence, you can go to the Effects menu, but the S is typically already assigned as a shortcut for silencing. So I just hit the S key and voila! Now I'm going to delete the silence to the start of my audition, but leave a half of a second so there's just a beat before my audition begins. Because this is a commercial audition, I'm going to take out some of my breaths. If you're doing an audiobook or animation audition, don't worry about taking out breath. If your noise floor is too high to where it sounds really weird taking out your breaths, you can always de-amplify them a bit. To amplify or de-amplify a portion of your recording, click the F key and this will pop up. For this breath, I'm just going to de-amplify it by negative 3 decibels. Twisted Wave doesn't offer a lot of effects, which you don't need. 
They just need to hear your clean, clear voice. Now all you need to do is listen back to your recording, making sure you didn't miss anything, and save it. Save it with the file name given to you by your agent or online casting site. Make sure it's saved in an MP3 format, and you're good to go. Now a quick look at Twisted Wave on your phone. Start a new recording by pressing the plus sign. Save it at 44,100 hertz in mono. Now press the red button on the bottom to begin recording. The layout is similar, there are just a few things different. To silence or delete a section, use your finger to highlight the portion you want. You'll then begin to choose from copy, silence, or use the X in the circle to delete. To change the amplification, click on what looks like a bunch of weird sponge circles in the bottom left. Choose Amplify and how much you want to amplify or deamplify. Then, to save, click on the box with the arrow at the top. You'll just need to change the file name to whatever your agent or site has indicated, and then you can email it straight from there. That's all there is to using this intuitive digital audio workstation, Twisted Wave. I covered showing you how to record, edit, and deliver a voiceover audition. If you found this video helpful and would like to get additional training in voiceover or more, check out all that we have to offer on ProVoiceOverTraining.com. And for in-person training, you can also visit our sister studio, AtlantaVoiceOverStudio.com.